And right now at five, we are tracking Hurricane Irma, and you can see it there behind us. It is now a Category 3 hurricane. Here it is on the satellite. Now, it's a rather small storm, and typically with small storms, we can see them intensify quickly. Category 3 moving to the west-northwest at 12. Here's the future track. There's really no changes to the track for about the past uh, three advisories. It's been a slightly northwest and then slightly southwest and ended up in this general time frame. This is the Tuesday afternoon time frame there. Good Wednesday afternoon. It is September 6. Big updates here on the intensity and the recent developments that's been going on with Hurricane Irma. Still a major Category 5, very little change in intensity. In fact, the winds have sustained themselves in excess of 185 miles sustained for over 24 hours now longer than any other hurricane on record in the Atlantic. This storm means business with gusts upwards of 225 miles per hour. There have been some major adjustments to the forecast track. Latest National Hurricane Center track goes right middle of the road, putting it along the eastern coast of Florida. Re <laughs> So today's Wednesday, the hurricane is supposed to hit around Saturday. So our job right now is to inform the public and the citizens that we serve as much as we can, give them as much information on how serious this hurricane is, um, give them evacuation routes if, that, if it comes to that. Uh, they might evacuate parts of Miami-Dade County. This is a very strong storm, actually the strongest hurricane recorded in the Atlantic. So this is a very serious, serious storm. So right now we're gonna go live here at FIU. We are visiting the Extreme Events Institute and basically what they do is they research um, extreme events such as hurricanes, uh, flooding, and the impacts that it will have on uh, today's society, the structures and things like that. So we're gonna go in now and visit with our friend Bryce. Um, he is a part of the Institute and we'll get some more information on that, so let's go. So, uh, hi, how you doing? How you doing? Nick. How's Bryce, everything? nice to meet you. Bryce, so can you explain a little bit about uh, where we are, what we're sure. doing today? So we're at the Extreme Institute, Extreme Events Institute on uh, FIU's campus. Okay. Uh, we're attached with the International Hurricane Research Center. So basically this building was, um, this department was formed after Hurricane Andrew, which of course we just had the 25 year anniversary of it. So motivated it to uh, prevent some of those effects of Andrew from happening again, preventable effects. And so uh, we work on research, different research projects, storm surge, hurricane research, um, financial planning um, to prevent some of those issues from happening. And what's your position here? So I'm a postdoctoral student here. Okay. Um, so I actually um, investigate, I do straight hurricane research, um, rapid intensification prediction, um, work with Dr. Ping Zhu um, in the department and among uh, several of the other aspects right. of the department. And is this a serious, serious hurricane? It's a very serious hurricane. Everyone needs to pay uh, close attention to this. All right. All right, and we're about to go live with Bryce and he's gonna to explain to our viewers on Facebook Live about uh, what to expect and pretty much run over some of the stuff we just talked about now. Uh, Sarge is here, we're setting up live inside and we'll be right back. Okay guys, we're done with the live broadcast. Um, it's Wednesday, the storm is scheduled to hit around Friday night, Saturday morning. Um, so we'll call this day one for the Hurricane Irma vlog and then uh, we'll be back tomorrow with day two. We're gonna head back to the station now and continue preparing.
Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer and the new advisory just in from the National Hurricane Center. Here's where it is right now. There is the storm size, the tropical storm force winds. Here's the new future track now. This is the Thursday afternoon time frame. This is the Friday afternoon time frame here. Here is the Saturday afternoon time frame and you can start to see the makings of the turn. There's our Friday position. There's our Saturday position. Category 4, the forecast intensity. At this point, today, Thursday guys, Hurricane Irma is still a category five, still 185 mile per hour winds, and is still on track to make landfall here in Florida. We just had a meeting at the station. Our community relations section that uh, social media unit falls under is gonna be tasked with logistics, and uh, basically our job is to uh, assist the officers that are out there on other roles. So there's gonna be officers posted up throughout the city of Miami, and they're gonna be there for long hours on their post um, after the hurricane. And during the hurricane, they might have to respond to certain uh, emergency situations. We are tasked with uh, providing help and services to them. So for instance, if they need water, if they need food, um, there is a meal plan that we have in order. Our officers will be here. Some will be here more than 24 hours um, so we'll have breakfast, lunch, dinner, all that stuff planned for them. We'll be running them waters. That's going to be um, the community relations section. And under the community relations section, we have different units such as PAL, uh, Kate, which deal with the elderly, and our JAM detail is under the community uh, relations section. So those guys will be tasked with that. Uh, I'm going to be doing the social media aspect, the tweets, the videos. Um, I'm going to be vlogging. Um, documenting, putting out information to the public, any emergencies that come up and we have to get information like downed wires, um, areas to stay away from. That's going to be my main function. So today we're a couple days away from the storm actually hitting. So uh, as a police officer, we're preparing for that um, and making phone calls and doing what we have to do for that, as well as getting our logistics, getting everything prepared. So when the storm happens, uh, we're just a well-oiled machine ready to go. So right now I'm fueling up my car. Um, I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna fuel up and keep the car topped off because throughout the storm you never know when the pumps are gonna go down. Um, as you see here, not too many people at the pumps. Uh, this is a government facility where only city vehicles, county vehicles, and government vehicles can fill up. So there's not gonna be that much traffic here. But if we go to a private gas station, there's gonna be a lot more traffic there. So as you guys can see, not much is going on um, here in Miami. You have a couple places that are preparing early, boarding up. Um, you have like piles of debris out on the street. Those are people trying to make some last minute trimmings to anything that they could think can come down during the hurricane. We have our public works um, here at the city, still running, making runs, picking up piles of trash like this, um, just to make sure that everything's clear. Um, they don't want any loose items um, picking up during the hurricane and going as projectiles into windows, into cars, and causing damage. So since the beginning of the week, people have been coming to stores such as Home Depot or other stores that sell lumber, and they've been buying plywood. Well, since so many people have been going to buy plywood, Home Depot has run out. Apparently, there's a shipment that Home Depot is supposed to bring down here to South Florida to distribute to the different Home Depots around here. 
and uh, people have gotten word and they're waiting outside now to pick up plywood to board up their homes. So outside now at Home Depot, there's a big line to pick up some plywood. So I'm gonna show you guys that now. I'm assuming that's the plywood section. Yeah, yeah, the plywood. yeah. So that's the plywood section. New shipment coming in soon. Hopefully. All right. Hopefully. Take it easy. Yeah. Good luck. So as you guys can see, the lumber section is very active. Um, the plywood section completely out and they're expecting a shipment pretty soon so that line is just getting longer how many hours have you guys been waiting six six a.m. yeah Whew. good luck guys is it the vlog? Yeah. How many hours have you been out here? Seven in the morning, man. Seven in the morning. Seven so that's six in the morning, seven in the morning. Yep. Six thirty. Six thirty. Yeah. Talked to the guy inside and he said the shipment should be coming soon. I don't know how many times you heard that, but I'm just letting you know. Many times already. Yeah. So. All right, guys. Good luck. Be safe. All right, so guys, that's a little taste of what's going on, what the atmosphere is now today. Um, as you saw, Home Depot is slammed. All the grocery stores are slammed. There is absolutely no water. As soon as they bring the water in, there's people waiting for water and they disperse the water as it comes in off the pallet. Literally, they put it down, open it up and start handing it out. And then within minutes, um, they're out. So um, that's the atmosphere today. Again, it's Thursday. We're gonna be coming every day, documenting a little bit all the way up until landfall and then after landfall. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is going to be right now. It's ago, what, what can you tell us? No major change. We're just updating the position of Irma. And right now, located 110 miles north, I should say the center, 110 miles north of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic. As it stands right now, wind speeds are about 180 miles per hour and it's about 600 miles away from the Florida Peninsula. Here's that track. No update in the 8 a.m. update in terms of the track. It's looking the same. Wind speed's the same as well at 180 miles per hour. But as it stands right now, this official track verifies it looks like uh, a landfall is likely for southeast Florida. It is just before 5 a.m. We officially started Alpha Bravo. It's Friday, the storm is about a day out or so, and we're getting ready and getting prepared here at the station. Our normal Alpha Bravo for everyone else starts at 6 a.m. It's 5 a.m. now, uh, since we're pretty much helping out the officers that are gonna be out on the street. We're coming in an hour earlier to uh, get everything ready, so when they come in, everything's ready, so. Let's go inside and get this started. And as you saw in our last vlog in Hurricane Matthew, we had a modified Alpha Bravo shift. What that is, is uh, we normally have A, B, and C shift, which is mornings, afternoons, midnights. Morning starts at six, uh, afternoon starts at 1 p.m. or three, depending on where you work, and midnight starts at nine and those shifts are 10 hour shifts. Alpha Bravo cancels those shifts and just makes it two 12 hour shifts, a morning and a night. So right now it's 6 a.m. Officers are starting to show up for Alpha Bravo to get their assignments. When they walk in the doors, they're gonna have three desks. 
one for south, one for central, and one for the north district. Um, the officers will be checking in to the desks to get their assignments, whether it be roving, uh, whether it be responding to calls, they're each going to have individual assignments. So they're going to check in at the desk and then they'll respond to their respective districts to handle their uh, calls for service or whatever their assignment is. Now today's Friday, the storm should be hitting around Saturday night or early Sunday morning. Um, so. Right now it's kind of a dry run of what's to come. Alpha Bravo will last before the hurricane, during the hurricane, and post hurricane, depending on what kind of damage and what kind of situation we're looking at. Thank you, mate. Well done. Not to be confused for. <laughs> no, not me. Damn. Good morning to you too. <laughs> So as you guys saw, um, not too much going around here in Miami. There are some calls for service, uh, but they pretty much revolve around um, hurricane preparations or trying to find shelter or things of that nature. Uh, today, all of our officers were here. Um, there was a double amount of the officers that are normally here, and they were just assisting with uh, people looking for shelters and other things of that nature. So as the days go on, uh, our roles will change, but for now, it's basically preparation for the storm coming. Uh, tomorrow will be a different story, but again, tomorrow we will also be in Alpha Bravo. So guys, uh, it's the end of the shift. Been going now for a little bit, been up since four in the morning, getting a little tired, but there's a lot more long days ahead of us. Just gotta rough it out. It's the nature of the beast. All right, guys, well, I'll see you tomorrow for day four. Okay, Rick, some changes here. Couple changes, that westward kind of leaning certainly kind of continues. One thing, there is now a storm surge watch. It's a new thing that's being issued by the Hurricane Center, uh, storm surge watches and warnings. But the watch now goes all the way up into Tampa. That said, hurricane warnings everywhere you see the red, hurricane watches everywhere now extending up just towards Daytona Beach. We will see hurricane force winds uh, throughout the entire peninsula. Winds are at 155. That's cat four. If it gets to 156, that's cat five. So we're right on that edge. 2 a.m. Sunday morning, barreling down here uh, on the Keys before it moves up possibly towards the west side. This storm being this strong for this long, Shep, is something that we've never seen anywhere across the globe in the satellite era. <laughs>
Got all my bags packed. Expected to stay longer than 24 hours here at the station. Once the storm hits, we gotta go inside and ride it out until uh, weather conditions get better, then we can start responding to calls and stuff. Very serious stuff when a hurricane is. Making our way in now. As you can probably tell, I'm a little tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. Preparing for the storm. Now I'm back here at the station, so headed in now. guys it's 9 45 um, we got soon to be sergeant sedano Hello, here with us everyone. she's gonna be with us while we're vlogging sarge is tied up upstairs um he's in charge of the logistics so it's just me for social media and soon to be sergeant sedano for pio slash me and my media. coffee all right so we're gonna head out now and check out how the weather conditions are all right guys got the hurricane mobile ready to go ready for action had to bring out the heavy duty suction cups for the hurricane all right partner what we got well we got the hurricane here still forming and it's all coming our way it's entering the south end of uh, florida and we just want everybody to be safe and uh keep a lookout for this and we'll be informing you all right guys these are what's called feeder bands if you saw hurricane matthew um vlog you know about the feeder bands these guys come through they'll come through pretty severe weather and then uh they're gone and then it's clear and then it comes and goes and comes and goes so it's gonna be like that for the next hour or so but the, the big part of the storm is coming all right we'll check back in right time to rock and roll rock and roll stay home um, just make sure that you have everything that you need our primary goal and mission is to provide essential police services however if this storm does get worse we will not be able to do that so we want you to stay inside stay safe and wait for the storm to subdue to subside so that we can then provide the services that you need in case that you might need to all right um, we keep telling you guys stay inside stay inside I know a lot of you guys have your houses boarded up um, our units are out here patrolling the streets, but once the weather becomes too severe, we're not going to be able to patrol the streets anymore, and we're going to take uh, refuge inside the police stations around the city. So again, stay inside. As for now, we're going to patrol a little bit. Um, give me about five minutes. We're going to go again on a live broadcast and give you guys kind of uh, a gist of what's happening out here on the street. We're going to hook up a camera for you guys to see as we patrol the streets here in uh, Miami.
So guys, just got the word that Bravo Shift is supposed to come in and relieve us. We've been here now going on 15 hours. Um, there was plans on holding us the whole uh, extension of the hurricane, which would have been about 30 hours. But since conditions aren't um, too severe, they're calling in the Bravo Shift to come in and relieve us. And then the Bravo Shift will be in, they've been rested. Uh, they'll come in and pretty much take the reins while we get to head home, rest up for post hurricane. We'll be riding out the hurricane with our families. Hopefully the conditions hold up like this and stay like this, uh, where the weather doesn't get too severe and we'll be able to uh, have minimal damage. Like I said, it's light debris out here. It's not too bad. Um, but again, the hurricane's still coming. It's supposed to last all the way until Monday, and it's only Saturday night. So we still got a long ways to go, but so far, so good. I'm gonna take off. I'll be back. Uh, I've been busy since Sarge is tied up with uh, other duties. It's just myself. You saw Officer Yalitza was with me for a little bit today, but um, it's pretty much me holding down the fort, pumping out the messages, um, pumping out the information on Twitter. Everything that we get from the EOC, I have to put it out and disseminate that information to the public and make sure they uh, get what we're trying to tell them. So it's been pretty hectic. Haven't been able really to vlog too much and that's because I've been doing this um, alone. Uh, but we have been active on our other platforms, uh, Facebook Live, Instagram, Twitter. And uh, unfortunately, I haven't had that much time to vlog, but there's not that much going on now. Uh, it's just windy and it's raining. It's not, it's not too windy, nothing that we haven't had before in a regular thunderstorm, but again, we're gonna have to sit and wait and figure it out. All right guys, I will see you tomorrow. I'm going home to see my son.